Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales, Paducah, Kentucky, on a absolutely gorgeous June afternoon. Hope you're having a great day. I've got the star of the show to present to you today. If you're in the market for the luxury line, top of the food chain, we're going to call it the Taj Mahal of the Super C Motorhomes. Please watch this video. Uh, this is a like new, as new as they come. We can't call it brand new, but it's as new as they come. 1,200 miles, not 12,000, not 120,000, 1,200 miles. Delivery miles only on this one, okay? 2023 Renegade Icon. This is the I-4534 floor plan. Four slides, two on the driver's side, two on the passenger side, full custom paint, double cleared. Yes, you heard that correctly. Two coats of clear coat on this one. We've got the big 40,000 pound hitch in the back of it, full fiberglass cap, all the ni uh, nice marker lights, stainless appearance package, which gets you the uh, stainless metal there in the middle, and then also gets you the stainless along the lower part of the baggage doors. Again, 2023, 1,200 original miles, four slides, sleep number, king-size bed back in the master, theater seating in this one, just to name a, a few of the options. So quick pass around it. We're going to open up the uh, compartment doors, open up all the slides, and give you a little tour on this one. One thing I need to mention, if you're interested in this coach and you need the price, please go to our website, chasecoach.com. Um, we don't post the price on YouTube. The price is on our website. It's real easy to find at chasecoach.com. But we don't price or put the price on the YouTube videos for a couple different reasons. We leave these videos on YouTube, so maybe somebody buys this coach and they don't want the price public of what they paid. Or maybe the guy buys it and told his wife he gave 700000 when he really gave 900 I don't know. I mean, I've seen it happen before, so I'm not ruling that out, okay? But we don't put prices on YouTube. We leave the videos up when these coaches sell. We leave the videos live. Uh, we get lots of hits, lots of views. So if you need a price, please call me, Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer, or go to chasecoach.com. All right, let's check this one out. Okay, so you know something that we never do? We never show under the hood of the coach, which I don't really know why it matters. It's in the photos, but we never do it in the videos. So again, this coach has 1,200 miles. It's never been slept in. Um, so if you're looking for a new Renegade Icon, I promise you this is as close as you will get. 1,200 miles, delivery miles only on this one, okay? Okay. 600 horse DD16 Detroit Power with the big heavy duty Allison. Again, folks, under the hood is as, as clean as the outside. As I mentioned earlier, 120 gallons of fuel on board single tank with your deaf fluid. I know, uh, deaf, but it's part of life, right? Um, 120 gallons of fuel, probably a 15 or 20 gallon deaf tank over there. Next compartment back, full lithium, okay? I forgot the exact amp hour think it's above a thousand amp hour between the four dragonflies. The batteries over here on your left are the engine batteries. So those go to the Freightliner, the Detroit engine up there. The four lithiums back here. You can literally run this whole coach without having the generator on. You can run the middle roof air, the refrigerator will run, all the outlets, TVs, you name it, you can do it without the generator. It's got solar charging, um, system that keeps those charged up. Next one over here is the HWH hydraulic pump. So that is the pump that is running your slide outs and your leveling. Again, on the Icon, the Icon is a step above the Classic. It's a step above the XL, okay? So next two is your black and gray. Of course, you can see the macerator pump hose there. Next one back, we've got um, 
the little uh, water hose. So to fill the coach with water, uh, this is a powered hose on a reel. And then you just select tank fill or you go city water uh, if you've got a city water connection. So if you're at a campground or whatever. One thing about the Renegades, I will tell you, so easy to understand. As many of these as we sell, I rarely get calls from people with any questions. That why They're very, very user friendly from how they drive to how you set them up to how you camp or how you full time or whatever you're doing seven hours on the generator 12.5 own and diesel that feeds off of the truck tank so you fill one tank runs the engine or your aqua hot um, or runs the generator uh, next compartment back is the transfer switch so uh, transfer switch with your shore power reel Again, I mentioned earlier, 40,000 pound hitch. We've got the connection for the Voyager cam down there. We've got our seven-way RV plug, 40,000 pound hitch. This one has the two and five sixteenths ball on it now, but I've got the two inch receiver. I've got the three inch receiver. I've got a pinnel hitch and the two brass connections. You take these two caps off, the glad hand fittings come with it. So if you're pulling a trailer with air brakes, or air ride, you can connect right up to it, okay? Next compartment back, we've got, well, there's the glad hand fittings and the spare hitch pin, and we have the central vac. So that's the um, the attachments, the hose, and the, the uh, wand and everything for the central vac. You can also connect to it out here. That's where the bag's at. Um, back here, we've got all the stuff that comes factory uh, when these coaches are new. We got the three inch receiver, uh, spare tile, as you can see up in there, that box down there is a spare uh, case of the tile. There's an ottoman, of, of which I forgot to take pictures of when I done the photos. So I'm going to unbox this guy and take some photos with him earlier. But ottoman there for the main living area. Uh, again, Michelin tires. The coach is the 23 model, 1,200 miles. So the tires reflect that. They are new. Um, all of the baggage doors are also... Um, Rhino line. So you can see Rhino line, bed line, whatever you want to call it. You can see that. Uh, that, you know, makes it to where you don't scratch like the cargo if you throw stuff in there. And in my opinion, it creates a excellent sealant. So it's like insulating and sealing up the boxes. Um, keyless entry, as you can see, keyless entry with the heavy duty uh, 3000 series door. All your electronics. This coach has lots of Garmin stuff. So all your electronics uh, down here in this bay, real easy to understand how things are wired. If you have an issue, it's real easy to pinpoint. Um, over here, we have the Truma electric cooler. We've got the dual inverters. Again, one of these inverters uh, goes to the middle roof air. So again, you can run the middle roof air without having the generator on. The other inverter is powering like your uh, fridge, your TV, uh, electronics in the coach. Um, 600D Aqua Hot. So there's you another difference between like a Renegade Classic and an XL. Uh, typically, you'll see the 450 in those. The Icon is the, the the top of the line for Renegade, and it has the 600D um, Aqua Hot in it. So more BTUs, more heat, more hot water, you name it. So um, that covers the compartment doors. So I'm going to uh, run the slides out and uh, we'll do one pass around it with the slides out and then we'll take you on the inside. All right, got all the slides out, got the Zip D awning out. That awning is probably at least every bit of 32 foot long, as you can see, extends over the patio area for full coverage. Um, one thing I didn't do was roll out the cooler, but it's in the drawer to the right, kind of below the TV and to the right. So that middle drawer out of the the three there. Quad slide again, two slides here on the passenger side, and then as we come around here to the driver's side, two more. Love the new style of the Freightliner Cascadia chassis with the uh, LED headlights. Uh, gives it kind of a bluish white uh, light as you're driving it. Um, something that was added to this coach, it's not standard on the Icon to my knowledge, is the shade. It's an electric shade that uh, comes out over the two big picture windows there in the front slide in the living area. I did this video a little different. I did it kind of in segments. Um, sometimes I do it all in one run, but it feels almost like a big run-on sentence. So I tried to break it up a little bit on this one. 
So tell me what you think. If you've been following our videos, you'll notice this one's a little different. Um, on the full body paint, again, something else, just pointing out things that I like about the Icon series is how they paint the edges or the like the front and back side of the slide. I just feel like on a paint job, that makes it complete. That makes me think, um, you know, the full effort, I guess you would say, on a paint job versus just leaving like the back of the slide solid white or black or whatever. Lots of marker lights. Again, got the um, stainless appearance package on this one. Something I know I didn't mention earlier was all the bays are heated on this. And this rear bay, this big one here on the right rear, has the three-quarter pass-through. So inside, you have room to um, put like lawn chairs or tables or something because the box goes down and kind of underneath the frame rail there on the back. But I um, believe we covered most of the outside, and so we'll go ahead and, uh, and take you through the interior. All right. Close the door behind me here. The guys are washing something back there. All right. We will start out by saying when you buy an Icon, you can say, I have a refrigerator with a TV in it. I mentioned that when we done the video of the red Icon here a couple weeks ago. Again, what is it good for? I mean, I guess you could use it or whatever. There's actually a button you can press to where you can see. Oh, there you go. So you can see like a camera view inside the fridge, but... Other than just, it's freaking cool. I don't really know what else it's good for, but all right, we'll leave that at that. Color of the floor on this one, it's called Valentino Legend. It's kind of a, I'm going to call it like a sandstone with a little bit of black and a little bit of gray. And then we'll mention to the cabinet color before I forget, honey maple, okay? That was a $9,500 option on this coach was the finish of the cabinet. So, um, let us know what you think of those. I think it was a great choice. We'll start out here. Entry door, little storage above it. You do have one of the MCD privacy shades that does pull down, blocks full privacy of the door. Um, again, this coach is all controlled by Garmin, so you can see the little Garmin screen down there where you can control pretty much anything from that. Um, first slide out here on the uh, passenger side, got the big stainless sink. Tiled backsplash, um, Samsung convection microwave oven. This is a cool thing on this one that was different on the last one. They turned the um, the induction cooktop like, I'm going to say not sideways, more like long ways. So, uh, you know, used to, it's like this way. And this one runs more long ways towards the backsplash, which to me, if you're not using it, gives you a lot more counter space. You know, in any motorhome, no matter what it is, you never have a ton of kitchen counter space. So, uh, smart idea on that one. Uh, this has the love seat in it with the uh, storage underneath it. Uh, Samsung, I believe that's a 50-inch LED TV. Um, up here in the cab, you have uh, two of the ultra leather air ride seats with massage and heat. We'll note that and heat. You've got the privacy curtain uh, you unvelcro it here. This one goes around, meets halfway, and then the same way with this one. Um, up here above the cab, you have the Envid. So that this coach has a full security camera system with four cameras, one on the front, left side, right side, and the rear, with a DVR. So this is like having a security system in your home. Um, you can record going down the road. You can record when you get stopped. Um Lots and lots and lots of storage. There's your, I guess what you would call the the backup panel for the leveling system. Of course, all that will run from the Garmin. Up here, more electronics. But again, new Stylecast Cadia chassis with the digital screen. Um, you also have another screen up front here that you can um, completely control the, um, the coach. So as you can see, I kind of turned it on, lit it up. It's loading. Um, but this will come up, the Garmin system, where you can turn the lights on, water on there. See, shows the outside temp and a picture of the coach there. Um, again, I, I can say it one last time. If you're buying an Icon, that is the Taj Mahal of the Super C. You will not find a nicer one. Um, this one was built with the uh, theater seating, has the electric seats. 
um, that um, have the lineup cup holders and you can move the headrest. As you can see, I'm pressing the button and reclining it. Uh, both seats are electric. Uh, they also have the little uh, storages and then these trays hook into here and creates like a little TV tray. I set it up in the photo. So if you go to chasecoach.com, you can look. All the chairs are reclined and, and opened up. Again, huge picture windows. They kind of look blocked now, but it's because I've got that um, electric awning. I've got it uh, down part of the way to keep the, the sun out. Um, big booth dinette with storage under each one. Again, that there's one of the little rugs you can see in the middle. Uh, each coach comes with a rug that matches the carpet. I think there's actually a, a couple of them included. Um, another one of the Garmin screens. Again, you can click that and turn lights on and do different things. Uh, we talked about the fridge, French door fridge with two of the, um, the pull-out freezer trays on the bottom. Um, here's the main Garmin screen. Um, you can literally do everything with this. I mean, from lighting to um, outdoor lighting to your aqua hot, tank levels, leveling. As you can see, living area, bedroom, bathroom, light shades, exterior power, climate. Um, everything's controlled from that screen. Uh, a lot of the cabinetry in this coach has the pull-out drawers, as you'll notice there. Um, this one was equipped with the washer and dryer from our friends at Splendid. Great company, great products. So washing machine on the bottom and the dryer up here on the top. Um, we'll go spin around here behind me is the half bath. So show you that. Um, half bath, toilet, um, vanity with matching countertop to what we have there in the kitchen. A little overhead lighting, some cabinetry, and then a vent up top. Uh, the central vac for the inside, I showed you earlier the outside connections right here. So you can um, plug the hose into that and, um, and vacuum the coach out. Again, opposing slides back here in the bedroom. Lots of storage. Little cabinet area, cedar line closet with a clothes rod overhead. Um, and again, at chasecoach.com, I've got photos of every one of these cabinets opened up. So we try to keep the videos somewhat short. Seems like lately they've been going longer and longer, but um, Samsung TV back here in the bedroom. And then a sleep number bed. Uh, this one was upgraded at the factory. Sometimes they do the ortho rest, which is a great mattress itself. This one does have the sleep number. Um, and then back here, master bath. We've got another, another one of the Sani Marin toilets, one of the macerators. Um, big window. I won't move these, but you can see Huge window in the bathroom with the day and night shades. Lots of cabinetry in here. Lighted uh, vanity mirror. More cabinets below. And then one of the parts that I love the most about any coach in general, but especially the Icon, is this shower. Check this out, folks. It's got the teak seat, so I'll move that. Fold it down. Place for you to set and get your... Feet all clean or your legs or whatever. Um, shower that sprays you here and then also has the rain head. And it has a shower wand too. You can see the hose there behind it. But amazing job by the folks at Renegade on the shower. And it's big. Okay, you get in it and it uh, feels like a, a shower, you know, something similar to what uh, you might have in your home. So I believe we covered most of this stuff. Uh, of course, I mentioned earlier uh, the coach does have four of the big lithium batteries, solar charging, three roof airs. It's got the um, the Weingard Traveler HD satellite system. So that's the system when you get parked, the dish comes up off the roof, locks in an HD signal, and um, keeps you going there. If you have any questions, give me a call. We'll throw my number up there on the screen. Trades accepted. We deliver nationwide. We've got some great financing options and uh, would love to earn your business. So if you're in the market for a like new Renegade Icon, this one in particular is a 23 model with 1,200 miles, look no further and please call Dylan Thompson at Chase Motorsports. And again, if you need pricing or have any questions, check us out at chasecoach.com. Oh, 
and uh, hit that subscribe button. We'll put it up there on the screen. We're trying to grow the channel, and with your help, we can do that. So appreciate you watching. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Until next time. You know, something I rarely do is take a video with the slides in. And the last couple icons that we've sold, that's one of the first things that the folks ask for. So when you have a quad slide coach with the slides as deep as these are, it is a little snug in the travel position. Now, it's not like snug enough that you can't get through. I mean, I'm seeing a solid five or six inches. As you can see, I'm kind of shimming my way through into the cab. We'll turn around and go the other way too, but I wanted to show you this because a lot of times I'll post the video or the photos and the first thing the person asks, um, hey, can you take a video to show us what it looks like with the slides in? So again, shim in kind of through between the love seat and the theater seating. And of course you can always access the half bath, okay? So you don't have to run a slide out or anything like that to access the half bath.